Dude, I heard this class is really hard. I'm super nervous. It's totally gonna be worth it though. My older sister had Mr. Gaspacho a couple of years ago and she said he's the best. Oh, well, I just want this class ruining my GPA. I just wanna get into the broad. Relax, it's just a history course. So what if the teacher's a goober? Just study and you're gonna be fine. Plus, besides, it's history. History doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Settle down, settle down. <laughs> no one was screaming, this is only a two-person class. <laughs> I'm Professor Lance Gaspacho, but you can call me Schmooby. <laughs> yeah, do y'all know how to spell Schmooby? Can't no. say I do. All right, let me put it up on the board for y'all. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, did you just write Schmooby? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Looks like someone's an English major here, huh? Don't either of you two ever double cross me. <laughs> okay, wow. Alright, so uh, in this class we're gonna be learning history. More like herstory. <laughs> now, can either of you tell me what the best way of learning history is? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, I don't know, repetition? Don't talk? I'm talking right now! <laughs> you just asked us a question. Yeah, well, sometimes the world doesn't want to hear your answer. <laughs> so, as I was saying, the best part of learning history is through comedy. Now, I've been doing comedy for like four months, so... <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, like, should we be taking notes or something? Oh, definitely. Get your stuff out now. Now, uh, in this class, we'll be starting with the Civil War. One of my favorite times of history, or history. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? <laughs> ladies. Am I right? Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> now, Civil War. What's up with that? Brother against brother. An entire generation wiped out by cannon shells. The fields of Antietam stained crimson red. Are you writing this down? Come on. Kids your age getting mowed down by bullets. Imagine yourselves there. Now imagine yourselves there with bullets. <laughs> you look to your right, the cannonball takes off a man's head. And I'm like, hey, don't lose your head, fella. <laughs> right? Fellas, don't lose your head. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Fellas? All right, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> hey, did y'all know that Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy, and Kennedy had a secretary named Lincoln? Ain't it wild, kids? Wow. Oh, it's wild. <laughs> kids, it's, it's wild. Okay, yeah. this is it. I'm dropping the class right now. I'll no, see you, you later. you can't leave. What tests am I going to copy off of? Come on, I mean, I know the first day can be real hard, but I just do that to, like, weed out the weaker students. Maybe I'm a little overboard this time, though. Yeah, yeah. You think? Well, I'll tell you what. Just stick it through this first day and see how it goes. I guarantee you, if you stay this entire year, you will walk out that door at the end of the year more well-rounded, more confident, and just overall, a better person. Okay, I'll just, I'll just give it a, a shot. All right, thank you. So, nothing will ever be able to stop you after doing this class. Just like no one was able to stop the German blitzkrieg of Poland in 1939. <laughs> Jeez, imagine yourself in a British warplane. Now imagine yourself in a British warplane with guns! <laughs> Suddenly, you turn around, bam, flat cannon rips off your co-pilot's head. Then you look down and say, hey, what's up with airplane food? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Am I right? <laughs> ladies. Woo! <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Am I right? All right, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Whoa, whoa, dude, come on. Like, only been here five minutes. Just at least me get, let me get to Robert E. Lee. Just, just hear him out. Give it a shot. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Okay. Little known fact about the Civil War. It's better to actually start at the end of the Civil War because that's how you 
get the full scope. Now, Robert E. Lee was shot three times during the Civil War, once in his calf, once in his hip, and once in his left shoulder. Now, can you all tell me who the most important people were in the bullet making process in the Civil War? Uh, I don't know, children? No. Uh, women. Oh, close. 